Hello, hello. Karen Wolf here in the art studio this evening. Um, we're going to paint some more little pumpkins on wood. <laughs> I uh, had, after I painted those with y'all last night, I was thinking about um, some other ideas that I had. <laughs> and I thought, well, I'm going to come back on here and paint some more of those cute little pumpkins. So... Um, and I forgot to get my iPad ready. Hopefully it doesn't fall down this evening off of this stand. Crazy thing. So, <laughs> y'all say hey when you jump on here. Hey, Melissa. Hello, hello. How are you? Let's see. I'm get, just getting my iPad started up so I can see comments. I can't see comments on my, uh, phone. So, I think I'm live. Yes. Hey, Ruth. Hello, how are you? Okay, posts. It's a little bit slow. Am I on Wi-Fi? Am I on Wi-Fi, guys? Oh, I hope so. Probably I'm not. I probably turned it off today. Can you all see me? Let me know if you guys can see me. See, okay. Um, if I've turned it off of Wi-Fi and I don't have a strong enough signal... Um, sometimes, sometimes you all can't see, so I hope you can. I can't tell if it's clear on my iPad because, um, it's on Wi-Fi for sure and it doesn't do a very good job. Okay, looks like things are on there. Hey! <laughs> hey, 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 hey Jennifer, hey Melissa. All right, who else on here? Ruth. I saw Ruth was on here. All right, so here we go. Got everything set up. Got to find some brushes. So what I'm doing is I'm just painting some more on these cute little pieces of wood. Um, I drew out some little images on there this evening, and I got some different ideas. Um, I just uh, woke up last night. I don't know if y'all ever do this. Um, I woke up like at 1230 and couldn't go back to sleep. So I laid there for three hours thinking about the craziest things. And one thing that entered my mind was... Um, painting uh pumpkins <laughs> on wood and what could I uh what could I do so um here we are um this one I'm gonna paint where's my white this one the first one over here I'm gonna paint it in um is that black I'm gonna paint it in a, a gray and white with a black background this one. I think um, if we paint some different ones, you guys can get some different ideas um, on these. So, and all this is, um, I don't know if you guys, I have, um, my husband does some, a lot of woodworking and stuff. Well, not woodworking. He makes things <laughs> for, for me and my daughter and whoever. And if he has scrap uh, wood pieces left over, well, hey, Paula. If he has, oops, if he has scrap wood pieces left over, and I forgot to pull that in so you guys could see. Um, sometimes you guys have to just tell me, wake me up. Like I said, my gosh, I didn't have um, enough sleep last night to have brain function. Um, can y'all see that okay? Sometimes it just wants to fall down. Oh, gosh. I think that's good. Ah, sorry. Rock the boat. Okay, there we go. Um, but anyhow, um, I don't know what I was saying. I lost my train of thought. I told you. <laughs> I, I am just like so... It's cricket. Oh, what cricket? There we go. Uh, I'm just so tired from not getting enough sleep last night. And I was already tired before I went to bed in the first place. And then I didn't get any sleep. So, um, holy moly. And for this gray, I'm just using black. You can put a little bit of purple in it. would be pretty. Uh, a little bit of uh, brown or something. But it's just basically, I'm just using um, some black and some white for this time. Just an easy, uh, just for this, just safe time and whatnot but anyways I'm just putting in just a gray color here and this one's going to be a gray and white pumpkin with a black background 
So I just did a little bit of gray, and then I put that brush in some white, and I'm just pulling in some lights here for these little, you know, those little shapes that they have. So, how are you all doing this evening? Y'all say, hey, when you jump on here so I can see who's on here, who all's on here. Did y'all have a good day? It was really pretty. Still, I mean, it's just shocking the temperature change and that went from, if you live around here, it went from 100 to comfortable. It was so hot. Uh, last week and the week before, it was sweltering, wasn't it? All right. So, I got some cool stuff coming. Wanted to talk to y'all about that, too. Um, if y'all hadn't heard, I've got uh, a workshop coming uh, here in September. I've got a workshop I'm going to, um, painting workshop we're going to do. You guys uh, have to join in on that. That'll be fun. I, that'll, I'm going to post it real, real soon and sh uh, show you what we'll be painting. Painting. See how I say painting? So, show you what we'll be painting. I've got uh, my memberships opening in uh, September. My all access membership is opening. That's where we all paint together inside of the membership in the group. I have members that are in there, been in there, uh, let's see, what is this, a year? I had it going on for a year in June was a, my anniversary, uh, or our anniversary, for the members that are in there. So, really fun. It's a, a fun group of people. Uh, we paint together. I um, offer out uh, the videos, three new videos a month for them to paint inside the group. I go inside the group and paint. Um, it's a place to learn to paint and become a better painter. So, real, really good if you're someone who is looking to, to learn some more about painting and just get better at it. So, hey, uh, Crystal and Diane, welcome. Thank you guys for jumping on here. Okay, so I've got that on. I'm gonna go ahead in and paint my background in. I'm gonna paint it in dark. And, and as I always say, these are, um, you guys, these are uh, just impromptu little deals. So, <laughs> we work our bugs out as we go, okay? Sometimes we, we might like them and sometimes we might not. So far, so good. And I'm just using black and a little bit of burn umber for this outside edge color. <clears throat> and I got my new text number. I'm excited about my community number a text number that you can uh, text me. Uh, just text uh, paint or let's paint or something like that um, to the number so I know you are interested in the painting information. Uh, when I go live on Facebook here, uh, I can send out notifications. That's something to get in the habit of. I forgot to send my notification out this evening. <laughs> I forgot to say, hey, I'm going live on Facebook. Come and check it out. Because a lot of times you guys don't need, or y'all don't need, y'all don't get the notifications. So, that makes it uh, really frustrating. And you can change your settings to where you'll receive them. And I think I've posted that on here before. 
where you go in to your settings and you change it so you'll see see when when I'm going live. Y'all like this one so far? I like the colors of this. The brown showed up more than the black, and I like that. And I, I like I left it soft around the pumpkin instead of real dark. So now I'm just going into a um, little bit of sienna, a little bit of um, brown, a little bit of purple. Just making a stem color. See what we got. I know I normally do paint on canvas, and um, that's what I, I do mostly. And well, if I paint this brown, it's not going to show up. Um, what was I thinking? Um, so I'm going to go back over here in this, this pile of sienna and yellow. The thing that um, I've got here is a, um, a plate of paint that... Um, is left over from um, where I was painting videos, recording videos this week. So that's what this is. So just lightening that side right there of the stem. So it'll show up. The whole thing is contrast, dark against light, light against dark. So things show up. That's how you get things to show up. But it, uh, what I do is I'm a, an artist and I teach teach you all how to, those of you who are interested in learning to paint, teach you how to paint, become better painters uh, online. Um, used to be I was in the art studio, but now I'm teaching uh, online here and there's lots of different ways you can paint with me so anyway, you can paint with me you can watch these Facebook videos here or you can uh, paint with me um, in my online painting tutorials of course the online painting tutorials are a lot more um, involved there's a lot more to them than just uh, what we do here on the Facebook page. I don't do as much on the Facebook page as I do when I'm painting the others because they're, uh, they're more detailed paintings and the, they're, you know, it takes longer to do them. Gray for the pumpkin and black and white makes that gray a little darker, more black for the darker areas. There. And that's the first one. How about that? Got that one all done. I'm not sure if I like those all real hard or not. Soft them up a little bit. And my white keeps disappearing. Y'all noticing that? And then I have the Pick Your Painting Club and then the All Access Membership and the online tutorials. I'm on YouTube too. If you um, catch me on YouTube, you can search for me, or by Karen Wolf on there, um, and catch a bunch of videos that I've put on there. Lots of places you can paint with me. Y'all like to paint? Rick, I know you do. Elizabeth, I hope you do. <laughs> All right, so there's number one. There is number one. And I drew these with uh, soft fine charcoal. This is a, um, something that I like. Uh, this is a Windsor Newton Artist Charcoal. Um, this is the soft fine charcoal. Um, and it's really nice to, to sketch with and draw with. And that's what I did these, drew these out here with. Not necessarily good to sketch on wood, but 
um, it is to sketch out on, good to sketch out on your canvas if you're going to draw on there. Let's see. All right. So, um, let's see. What will we do with those? Let's see. What colors do I have on my plate? I'm going to do a blue... And a green. I've seen some of these in a magazine Jennifer had. She gave me. I'm going to try this color. It's like a green color. Just a... I don't know. Different. I think they had more of a this sort of color. Yeah. Well, maybe they were this color now that I look at it. Kind of a green blue, greenish color green with some blue in it. We can make some of them a light blue. Just added green and blue together is all I'm doing with this so far. I think what I was starting to say, I just remembered what I was saying earlier about the wood stuff. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I had to tell you, I'm just, I'm just tired. Um, but Joe uh, makes things for us, and my husband, and uh, he makes things out of wood, and like he made some things, some shelves and things for me, and he made some things for Jennifer, um, um, little things for the kids and stuff we're doing for, for her house and things. And, um, I think I'm gonna make, should I make them all the same color or different colors, you all think? Um, and then when he has wood left over, um, I keep it. I don't let him throw it away. He thinks I'm crazy. And I said, well, I can paint something with that. Don't throw it away. <laughs> right? Don't do that. Crazy. So, I have a little, um, a metal trash can in here full of wood pieces. And Henry likes to play with them. And he'll die whenever he comes back and finds out that I've used all these wood. Charlie likes them too. She was playing with them the other day. Can you all see that? All right. What color background should we do? You all are being awful quiet. I'm trying to decide what color background to use.
This was just a little bit of sienna and yellow and white for the background. What I've chosen. And if you want, you can paint your background in first. Probably, you know, better, easier idea, but um, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't know what color I'm going to do my background until I see what color I come up with. I do that a lot on portraits and things. I like this one too so far. These are cute little things just to set around and decorate for um, fall. Y'all like the traditional color or the traditional pumpkin orange and or do y'all like the blue ones and the white and gray white and there's all kinds of them now. Are they pumpkins or are they gourds? Some of those. Um, the big flat, fat ones. Jennifer gets some. They're a bunch of weird looking pumpkins. And I just went in with a little bit darker, more sienna and with that yellow. And I'm just Swishing in with my outside edge, just I keep looking for white on this plate. There's no white on this plate. That's what I had left over from recording the other day. I had a bunch. A bunch I was recording. Got them done though. Right in the nick of time. Even with all of my technical issues. Brown. Just an umber there. And the stem, I think, was just a little bit of green and sienna. Keep looking for white on my plate. Fall time of year is a fun time of year to paint. There's a lot of, a lot of cool colors out for when the leaves start changing. Lots of neat things. To paint. It's a little bit different painting on painting on wood. The colors, um, it's a softer surface. 
the colors blend differently than on canvas. It's really um, smooth. These pieces of wood are really smooth. tiny bit more dark. Blue, green, and a little bit of white. I have a really cool painting coming up for the um, the workshop. I think you guys will like it. I can't wait to post it. It's going to be um, so much fun. And it'll be just like I did for the challenge. Uh, but this is just called a workshop. I'm just calling it a painting workshop instead of a challenge. I don't want to scare people off. Make them think it's challenging. That's funny. Y'all like a challenge. Everybody likes a challenge, don't they? If you don't ever challenge yourself, you'll never become a better painter. If you just paint easy all the time, you gotta paint. You gotta paint stuff that's hard. Challenge yourself. put some of that dark uh, green uh, put some of that green around the outside edge couldn't I there's the three green pumpkins I like the um, the white one so far the white one's still in the in the running y'all gonna vote Oh, got some green on that. Got some all kind of colors on that, didn't I? Golly. <laughs> My paper towel's a little bit yucky. <clears throat> I hold it in my hand and I keep sticking my paintbrush in it. So it got a little bit yucky. I just took a little bit of a little bit of water and cleaned that off. I got I stuck my brush down in there and it got right up against that blue. So I didn't mean to do that. Although sometimes you do that, you stick your brush in something and it, get it on there and you're like, oh, wow, that looks good. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but it looked pretty good. Alright, there's the green one. And then we'll go down here and paint this big flat, flat, flat. This one I'm doing with uh, Sienna and yellow. Y'all come up with a background color. 
Let me know what the background color is going to be. Got any ideas? Yep, you have to paint things that are difficult, and you have to paint things sometimes that are um, just different than what you're you're not what you used to. To become a better painter, I know sometimes you think, "Oh, I don't want to paint that old." Well, maybe you don't like to paint pumpkins. But you learn when you paint different things. You might not like to paint something, but you can learn from it. Learn different techniques and things. I just went into the white. Just put some lighter colors in there. Can't see them very well. I need to get me a new paper towel. That one's done. So y'all liking them so far? What y'all think? I still think um, my favorite is this one. But I do like that. And I'm really liking this so far. We'll have to vote. <laughs> See which one we like. See which one wins. And, just, and this is just a sienna, a burnt sienna and yellow is what this one is right now. a little bit darker. Got really quiet. Didn't I? Sometimes I do that. I think my iPad's stopped. It's still recording. Am I recording, guys? Somebody say hey. There, my iPad stopped for some reason. My face is all red. Went for a walk a little bit ago. <laughs> and I, uh, evidently I got warm. Didn't feel warm. It was nice. So you can see me, Sandy? Thank you. Gosh, I was wondering. Okay. Now I'm going to get the stem going here with a little bit of green and brown, I think. Make a little green brown. I'll put a little bit of that sienna in it.
That one's a funny shape. <laughs> it's a funny shaped one. Got into the purple, didn't I? I'm trying to get a little bit more darker sienna. And that sienna is so contaminated. When you dip into your colors, guys, make sure that um, you don't go in from the side. Because if you keep dipping down in the middle of your colors, you contaminate them. Which means that they get other colors in them. And then when you need clean color, it's not... It's, it is not. Not snot. It is not. <laughs> my brush is too dry. My paint's too dry. I do a lot of uh, rubbing and uh, blending with my uh, finger. I don't know if y'all noticed that. But I do. Um, sometimes this is a little, a little different to blend. I just took a little bit of water. Just kind of making that so it's not so hard. Alright, now we're going to do the uh, color on the outside. Wonder what. Wonder what color to do for the outside. And does it surprise you sometimes whenever I choose a certain color? Do you all? Like that? I do. I'm going to put a little bit of that yellow in my pumpkin. I truly do like that. Looks pretty cool. All right. Now, I don't know. I'm torn between these two now. I need to move these. Can you all still see those if I move those over? Yes, you can. Okay. All right, now we got these two little jobbies. Hmm. What color shall we make them? Traditional? Orange? Or what? Y'all have any suggestions? Let's see. Let's just make them just regular. Let's 
orange and sienna. Keep getting quiet, don't I? It's not very often I don't say anything. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? Yep, it's not very often. Trying to get a bright yellow orange there. Yellow and orange, trying to brighten this side up here. These will be really cute to decorate with, I think. Put them in just around with some different things. I don't know. I'm not really very good of a decorator, but I think that they would be cute. That one at the, on the top looks like a apple. brushing it a little bit too with the paint being a little bit wet. You know, we're just doing this as impromptu here. Just a spur of the moment little jobbies. What color will we paint the background? Any ideas, guys? I've lost show my iPad, I think. Don't know. Y'all have any suggestions? background color or you want me to just come up with something I'm thinking
still think that one looks like an apple. Probably because of the stem. Don't know why. All right. Orange. Blue. How about blue? Could have painted one one color and one something else. In the... I think that's pretty good. I kind of like that myself. Now you guys are going to have to vote. Which one do you like the best? Hey, Tara, welcome. Welcome, welcome. This one went a little light. Or got a little darker, I should say. I don't put too much white in it. Okay. I think that's it. I think they're done. What do y'all think? You like those? That was a lot of pumpkin. Cute though. I may change up my green ones. They came in last for me. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody may like them. I think they're all cute, really. There you go. Pumpkin City. Lots and lots of pumpkins. I hope you guys enjoyed those. That was fun. Gosh, look at my face. <laughs> I did. I went for a walk and it was hot. I had, um, <laughs> I was going to put some powder on my face, but I didn't. I had, um, ever since I've used that Epidex cream on my face for that, um, actinic keratosis, when I get hot, my face just gets blood red. And it is. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh look like a clown all righty well y'all have a good evening uh thank you all for jumping on here and participating and watching and um y'all get you some little wood pieces of wood and paint you some pumpkins those are fun i really enjoy doing that it's very relaxing it's just very calming it just i don't know it's i don't know and if you mess up it's just a piece of wood just Paint over it. Of course, you can do that on canvas. You can paint over on canvas. So, um, thank you all so much, though. I appreciate you guys. I uh, hope you guys will um, stay tuned and uh, um, participate in the challenge. I'll be posting it uh, real soon and posting the details and creating the group. And we'll all paint um, a painting um together inside of a private facebook group and uh 
it, it usually takes a couple days, a couple, not a whole day. Uh, we'll do two evenings um, for an hour uh, each evening. Um, and that should do it. And we'll paint. There'll be some fun things in there. We'll have fun. And uh, you'll have some, you know, maybe some little bonus little tips and things and uh, stuff inside. I have to, to decide what I'm going to do. But it'll be great fun. It's a really pretty painting. I think you guys are going to like it. So um, join in with me on the challenge. And I keep, now I'm calling it a challenge. Um, it's a painting a workshop. And the membership will be opening pretty soon, too. So that's exciting. All access membership is opening again because it's, it's been, it closes. It only opens twice a year. So, um, yeah, it'll be open to join. So thank you all so much. God bless you. Take care. And I'll see you back on here again. And uh, we'll paint something else. Thank you. Bye-bye.